100 PDAC 2020. Right now we have Daniel today. So hi, how are you doing, Daniel? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. So do you mind starting introducing a bit of yourself and your company? Yeah, my name's Daniel Major. I'm the CEO of GoVX Uranium. Our ticker is GXU on the TV, TSXV. Um, we're a Nigerian African development company focused on uranium. Yes, so I noticed three of your GovX projects are all in Africa. So why do you choose Africa? Uh, we like Africa because you can get things done. Uh, Africa is very much a growth area for the future. Uh, a lot of the big mining companies are now realizing that you're going, if you want to find elephants, you're going to have to go to Africa to look for them. Uh, the mining codes are all very constructive. All the jurisdictions we're in are mining jurisdictions. Um, we've been operating there since 2007 and had a very successful time doing it. Good. So talking about your Mangatanga project, can you elaborate on the work and planning there? Yeah, Matanga is our sort of second project in our pipeline. Um, it is a project that already had got, we had at a PEA. Um, we are now currently taking that to final feasibility study. Uh, focus on that is some infill drilling this year on the main deposit of Dibwe East. Uh, we're doing some hydro work and some geotech work and metallurgy just to verify the previous metallurgical work. Plan is by end of next year, early the year after, to have finished its feasibility study. Then we'll push that towards construction. That's good. So, as you said, nuclear demand needs additional supply. How can we explain that? Or yeah, that? I mean, if you're looking at all the forecasts at the moment, you're looking about 26 to 3% per annum growth for nuclear demand going out there. Heavily driven by developing Asia, uh, so China, India, Saudi Arabia, these countries. You've seen a radical change across um, the Western nations as well. So the US is extending the life of reactors. Europe is voting on its taxonomy. Eastern Europe is adding reactors. We've got new styles of reactors coming in, small modular reactors, which will add to that growth and allow nuclear to get into Africa. At the same time, we've not had a new mine really built since 2011. And as a result, we have a very large supply deficit at the moment. In order to fill that supply deficit, we need much higher uranium prices to incentivize new projects. And that's where GoVX sits. We, our projects are permitted already, two of them. They're ready to go. One will, Maduela, who we've not mentioned yet, the Niger project is finishing its feasibility study in the next few weeks. That will be looking to go into construction next year with production in 2025. So we're very much part of the program to try and fill that supply gap, which is going to get bigger uh, unless we get new mines. Good. So would you say your three projects will fulfill the demand of uranium? Oh, no, we won't. We're relatively small. I mean, the, the demand gap already is 60 to 70 million pounds. We're going to produce 5 million pounds from two mines. Um, so a lot of new production is needed uh, to come on board. Uh, and expect that production demand to expand even more, if, say, if we don't start to get new projects. So, Daniel, share us something about your team. Do you have expertise on their deposit? Oh, yeah. I mean, we have went 100% local as well in Africa, so I have no expatriates. Uh, but Nigerians have been mining uranium since the early 50s, uh, 70s, sorry. Um, if you look at Zambia, it's a copper mining country, a lot of expertise there as well. And Mali's a big gold mining. We have a technical team internally as well, and we've got very strong consultants that we use and have been using for a long time to take us through our technical studies. That's great. So why should investors consider investing your company now and uh, what news should they follow? Well, I mean, at, at the end of the day, the first thing you've got to think about is the market um, relative to any other commodity. Uranium is exceedingly positive. Um, it, all of the news you will see around nuclear is getting more positive towards nuclear. So that's the first thing, underpin of the commodity itself. The second thing is that we have permitted projects. We're getting towards the financing side of them. In, normally, you see a big re-rate of projects as they go from being a developer to being a producer. So you've got that big lift as well. We have multiple projects in our pipeline, which very few people have. We have a lot of exploration upside. We have a really big resource already, but a lot of exploration upside. So, you know, and we have a team that can get out there and deliver that program as well. So those are really the key focuses on it. Market, the quality of the assets, quality of the people. That's wonderful. Thank you, Daniel. That's all my questions today.
Thank you very much.